Okay, so remember I said um, you must leave out the fixed costs, uh, the fixed cost variances um, for now. So this is the original budget again on the left hand side. Remember the original budget was for 1000 units and then the actual was for 1100 units. So looking at the fixed manufacturing overage, the fixed costs, that was budgeted for 40,000 rand, 40,000 units. But remember, fixed costs should not change when we produce more or less units. Except obviously if we go over the capacity for that fixed cost, then we have to change. But we assume we won't, so within a relevant range, fixed cost should not change when the units change. Remember the second step was then to flex the budget. So for fixed cost, we usually don't flex the budget because if we budget for 40,000 Rand, we should spend 40,000 Rand. So if we actually spend 39, we actually save 1,000 Rand. So budgeted versus actual is comparable for fixed cost. Then if you look at the flexed budgets, remember for all the variable costs, we flexed for the actual units produced. But then in this table, we also flex the fixed costs. So what does that mean? This 44,000 here, the flexed fixed cost, is not how much we should have spent. Remember, we should have spent 40,000 to budget the amount. Think of an example, factory rental. If we budget for 40,000 rand for factory rental, whether we produce more or less units, we should still only pay 40,000. So this flexed fixed cost represents the allocated fixed cost. You remember allocated fixed cost when we did absorption costing? So the allocated rate, the allocation rate, or the predetermined fixed overhead allocation rate is the budgeted fixed overheads, 40,000, divided by the budgeted units, 1,000, so 40 rand per unit. Multiplied by the actual units of 1,100, we'll get the allocated fixed overheads. So this 44,000 represents allocated fixed overheads. The 39 was a given actual fixed overheads. So just as an aside, What's the difference again between allocated fixed cost and actual fixed cost? In this case, 5,000 rand. That's right. That's the over allocation of fixed manufacturing overheads. We allocated 5,000 more than what we spent. So back to this. You will remember this from our previous two videos on variable cost variances. So you can ignore the quantity and price variance headings there because for fixed overage we get a different um, Heading, or, or sorry, a different variance name. The quantity variance is called the volume variance, so fixed manufacturing overhead volume variance, and on the price side, it's a spending variance. So let's start with the spending variance. So the so steps are as same as before. We flex the original budget. We write the actuals on the right hand side, but now in the middle, whoops, in the middle. Instead of doing this, actual quantity of input at standard, ignore that, we write the original budget. So remember, this is just a shortcut to get to the variances quicker. You can uh, memorize the formulas if you want. But if you write the original budget in the middle, you'll see the volume variance pops up on the right, left hand side and the spending variance on the right hand side. So think, look at the spending variance. The middle column says 40,000 what was budgeted, so how much should we have paid for factory rental versus how much we did pay, in this case 39,000. So we saved 1,000 rand, so that's a spending variance. On the left hand side, we'll get the volume variance, so 44,000 less 40,000 is 4,000 rand. It's favorable because this is less than that. Remember, we deduct the right hand columns from the left hand. So how do we explain this 4,000 volume variance? Think of how many units we produce. We produce 1,100 units. But our factory rental, 40,000, was for a factory that makes 1,000 units. The fact that we made more from the same factory, so we squeezed out more units from a factory that we pay 40,000 for, that's a good thing. We, we, so remember, we, a fixed cost, you don't pay for the number of units or the actual usage of the resource, you pay for a certain capacity. So our normal capacity here was 1,000, so 1,000 units. 
So if we get more than that, that's a good thing. So this 4000 is basically the extra 100 units we squeezed out from this capacity at the rate of 40 rand per unit. So 100 times 40 rand per unit. So to recap, for our variable costs, we had a quantity and a price variance each time. So the formula basically for material, labor, variable overhead is every time the same. That's why we can use the table. For fixed overhead, you have to remember, flex the budget to get allocated fixed overheads. Write the actual in the right hand column, the actual column. And in the middle, just dump the original budget there. And then you'll get your right variances. It will be the volume variance on the left hand side and the spending variance on the right.